Today we're going to be talking with Miss Avril Crawford, who is the CEO of eLearning Jamaica Limited, and Miss Yvonne Makala Sobers, who is the chairperson for eLearning Jamaica. Ladies, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. The first question I want to start with is, when was eLearning Jamaica Limited established? Well, it was actually formed in 2005 as an agency of the ministry with responsibility for information technology. What is the role and function of eLearning Jamaica? The purpose of eLearning Jamaica is to implement education in technology um, programs, activities on behalf of government ministries. What is it that eLearning Jamaica would like to achieve with the implementation of this tablet in schools project? You see, concepts of education have changed and the tablets in schools project is a means of keeping pace with the global changes in ed education. Um, students are now being educated for the information age as distinct from the industrial age and so, right, and so therefore, this is the purpose to enable our students to be ultimately globally competitive and also to enable them to be lifelong learners because this is what occurs now. Technology means that you're learning something every day. So, now that we have had some information on what e learning Jamaica Limited is and what it does. My next question is, what is the TIS program? Uh, well, essentially, um, we're trying to find the, the device that we've decided to, to, to use for this access um, in, as a tablet. And we have actually placed a request for proposal um, looking for suitable tablets so with the minimum specifications and so on that they have to meet. And the suppliers of the tablets also um, have to provide some some management services. Um, they deliver the school the tablets to the schools, and they must provide some support in terms of um, replacements, repairs, and so on within a certain period of time to be you know that sort of thing. So they really have to have an island wide. Um, capability Infrastructure, to be able to, to respond okay. because the schools are island-wide. Okay. Um, we've also sensitized the, the, the principals in all the schools, um, got some very useful feedback from them from that session. Um, so they're all excited, they all know, we've been to them to let them know uh, the kinds of things that we, they would be required to do in order to be ready to get the tablets, because if they're not ready, they're not getting the tablets. <laughs> and, um, and then we have had teachers um, in the primary schools and the pre-primary schools attending um, basic ICT training. Uh, as soon as they get the tablets, then they'll get the training in how to integrate the tablets into, into their instruction. So on. Okay, so far so good. We've also started looking, the Ministry of Education has also started looking at what applications, um, what apps, uh, and they're talking with the, um, the publishers of their textbooks as to what books are available as, as ebooks so that they can be preloaded onto the tablet. How do we plan on implementing this TIS program in schools? There is a whole concept of classroom education that has changed so that, or has to change, so that the teacher is no longer the person in control of everything. No, we have a classroom in which a teacher is more of a facilitator or a guide to the students. So the teacher who really believes that he or she knows and can be expected to know everything is going to be a dinosaur very, very shortly. So there's a whole change and an acceptance that students will know more than teachers on certain things. What, if any, limitations will be placed on the tablets that are issued to the students um, in they, schools? Obviously, some sites will have to be filtered. 
um, pornographic sites and so on. But essentially, education means exposure to all the knowledge um, that is available. Um, and therefore, you, you can get it in all kinds of ways. I mean, I had a, a, a teacher at school, the library, who used to say, read everything in the comic. Everything can teach you. And so the games, the videos, whatever, um, they, they'll be quite, quite free to be. They'll be useless, yes. so to speak. Then there will be tracking facilities um, so that you know, at all times you know where, where the tablets are. And there will also be bricking facilities so that if it is not where it's supposed to be, then it goes useless. It cannot be useless. Um, so we're hoping very soon those who might have wanted to interfere with those kids who are taking home the tablet. We'll learn that very quickly. Um, but we're also going to be talking to the to, to the communities around the schools and so on to make them understand that you know just don't trouble any any kid with, with the tablet because it's to everybody's benefit, um, including their own. That sort of. Thing. But I, I want to take this in another direction as well, and this is. How can the teachers be sure about what's going on in the classrooms in front of them? What's happening on the tablets? True. <laughs> and there are systems, and we certainly hope that our suppliers and expect our suppliers to provide programs for their programs that enable the teachers to see exactly what's on each tablet in the classroom to close down some tablets or to put information on tablets. I mean, for instance, if a student is struggling, the teacher can see on behalf of a one-on-one -on -one tutorial right there and then. If a student is doing very well, the teacher can see and bring that student's work on everybody's tablets. Jamaica, what changes do you think need to be made to the e-learning program to make it more effective? Take your conversation to Facebook and Twitter, Total Technocrats.